Pro Wrestling Noah, one night dream self-proclaimed superstar yep. of Pro Wrestling, Kento Miyahara is first in the ring ahead of our main event. A special singles match, no time limit. Oh man, the crowd popped hard as soon as that music started playing. How about that, Stu? And if those goosebumps weren't enough, I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps. That piano means one thing only. There's a danger monger in the building. Two-time GHC heavyweight champion. Former six-time GHC tag team champion. It was Nakajima that made the first move, challenging Miyahara to a singles match sometime after their tag match at Tokyo Dome in February this year. Yeah, it's the forbidden reunion that we've prayed for years. Finally happening one-on-one. -on -one. Nakajima was Miyahara's first senior, his first senpai in the pro wrestling business. Originally Kensuke, Sasaki was going to refuse Miyahara joining the Kensuke office because of his physical size. Not his height, because he's a big man, but yeah. his frame wasn't big enough then. But it was Akira Hokuto who pushed to keep him in because of the connection between the kanji in the Ken part of Kensuke and the to in Hokuto making Kento. And thank goodness she did as well. We've got this magical dream match before us today. It's sold out for Rock and Hall in the space of days. All standing tickets sold out. Yeah, it was sold out by June 23rd. Yeah, this could fill any venue in the country as well. This could grace any stage, any platform. Masakita Mia on commentary over there. Of course, he's the third man when you're talking yep. about that time way back. That's in right. The Kensuke. Yep, Kensuke office. Office. Nakajima was scouted through being a karate champion, whereas Miyahara loved wrestling from the start. Yep. And he's claimed that the two have different values when it comes to this business. Nakajima's a former All Japan Pro Wrestling World Junior Heavyweight Champion. He held it for over a year. Incredible. Back He's, in the years 2005 through yeah. 2006. Yeah, and Miyahara has got a lot of experience in pro wrestling, though. He's competed here over 200 times earlier in his career. Well, that's the thing. I mean, the, the, the links go even deeper. As a tag team, they've challenged for the GHC Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles together. Yeah. Unsuccessfully against Ricky Marvin and Taiji Ishimori back in July of 2010, they wrestled together in the Nippon TV Cup Junior Heavyweight Tag League in 2009 against each other in the same tag league yes. a year earlier, 2008, just after Miyahara made his debut. His debut was February 2008, as opposed to Nakajima's debut in January of 2004, just 15 years of age. So Nakajima is one year older. He's the senpai by four years in the yep. business in pro wrestling. Yep, their last match was 11 years ago as well. Nakajima leads the head-to-head -head series 3-0, surprisingly perhaps against Miyahara. But of course, this is a whole different Kento Miyahara that he's up against today. He's the best of the best. Yep, Nakajima might have three singles wins over his opponent Miyahara here today. The first was February 2008, the next time they shared the ring was a couple of months later when they teamed up with Kensuke Sasaki in a losing effort against Atsushi Aoki, Kenta and Kenta Kobashi back in the day. Until the Keiji Muto retirement show at Tokyo Dome in February, it had been, like you said, like 10, 11 years yeah. since they'd faced each other way back in Diamond Ring. Yeah, they both went completely their separate ways. Kento Miyahara became the ace of all Japan pro wrestling. Katsuhiko Nakajima became one of the titans, one of the standouts here in the arc. 
And we said earlier, Stu, that it could have easily gone in a very different direction. It could have been Nakajima, who was in All Japan, and Miyahara, who's here today in Pro Wrestling Noah. The second time they faced in the singles action was July 2009 at the Kensuke Office hometown match in Yoshikawa, Saitama. Third time they faced in singles action, December 12, 2012,